That's it. I'm done with Games Workshop. Hello again and welcome to another Warhammer 40k Mordian Glory video. In today's episode we are going to be talking about the rather spicy news that just dropped on Warhammer Community. Games Workshop is squatting, they are invalidating, they are getting rid of huge amounts of Space Marine Firstborn models. Now naturally I'm a guard player first and foremost, but for those of you that follow the channel for a while, well, now I have a pretty extensive Black Templar Firstborn army. A little bit of Primaris in there as well. And this has had a huge impact on my collection. And it's made me really angry. And so you know what? I want to make a bit of a salty video. Salt warning ahead, boys. But what I want to do is actually work out the impact this has had on me as a consumer. How much money has GW just taken of mine and flushed down the toilet? Now, I'm going to be using the current price on the Games Workshop website to work out the total damage. But full disclosure, I didn't buy all these models yesterday, but nearly all of them were bought new in box. The reason I'm using the current prices is because whilst my actual value might be lower, these were all models that someone could have bought if they'd got new in the 10th edition. Imagine you're a player who's getting back into 40k and you're like, you know what? I always wanted that White Scars army when I was a kid or that Ravenwing army when I was a kid. You know what, I'll get some of those old models together. I can't believe you do still sells them. Amazing. And you drop quite a lot of money getting those things. Only to find out less than a month in the edition that they're invalidated. That is a huge impact. That's going to completely take you out of the game. And what's even worse is the resale value on those models is going to be a lot less. Because people aren't going to want to buy models they know aren't going to be around much longer. So that's the reason I'm using it. To work out the current pound slash dollar value that is being destroyed from my collection... And also, to kind of give it a bit of context for other players that might have gotten to the game recently who have just been stung by this. So let's start off with the land speeders. I have got four land speeder storms and two regular land speeders as well. Each one of these from the Games Workshop website costs £25. So with land speeders alone, I've lost 150 quid. I've also got three squads of three Scout Bikers. Each one of those boxes cost me another 25 quid. So that's another 75 pounds down the toilet. Then we have an Ironclad Dreadnought, a classic for any Black Templar player. Guess what? That's 37 pounds 50, just gone. Moving on to the Scouts, there are three squads of Scouts here. Each one of those is worth 22 pounds 50. That's another 67 pounds 50 that's just been essentially chucked on the fire. Now, last in my Space Marine collection, I've got the better part of a company command squad. As you can see, we've got the Ancient as an apothecary, Captain, and also a Lieutenant style model here. There's also a Bike Captain and a couple of Scouts. However, I'm just gonna combine these all together and say it's a company command box, and that's in the £27.50. That is, in total, £290 of my hard-earned cash just gone, wasted, finito, poof, into thin air. And that's not even taking into account a lot of the third-party parts that I included and bought to convert a lot of these models. I love buying extra parts, I love kit bashing, and all of that extra money, and all of the time that I spent on these things, has also just been for nothing. Now that alone is a pretty penny and a tough pill to swallow. And I'm not even a Space Marine main. I play guard mostly. This is my side piece. And I've had 300 quid just go down the toilet. But wait, there's more. This got me thinking. Well, we've had a new guard codex recently. And we've also had a new edition come out. I wonder what other armies of mine have been collected. And I looked around my shelf and I realised that my guard Medusa, my Forge World model, is now totally and utterly unusable. No one's going to let me use that as like a basilisk in a tournament because the barrel's not long enough. I'd be called out for modelling for advantage or something. Would it be fair? That cost me £85 from Forge World. The quality was bloody questionable as well. 85 quid for a model that now I just can't use. Six months later, gone, done, waste of time. It's an absolute joke. Now let me be clear, this is just the Games Workshop stuff. 
What about my third party miniatures? I know Games Workshop doesn't give a damn about those, but I do. They cost me money. I had a whole bunch of third party crusaders and other specialist infantry that are just completely useless now. And there's some really gorgeous models that I spent a lot of time and money building, painting and putting together, which I now just cannot use. But wait, there's more. Because Games Workshop doesn't even need to remove models from the game to cost me money. Oh no no no, they could just arbitrarily change how the game works and suddenly half of my collection doesn't even work anymore. At the end of 9th edition, I bought a huge Tyranid Swarm. I got loads of Rippers, Termagants and big monsters to support them. In total, I had 240 Termagants and dozens of Ripper Swarms. 10th edition comes out and goes, oh yeah, you can only take 120 Termagants max. Oh, and by the way, you're going to have to go out and rebase them all as well. Why? That is hundreds and hundreds of pounds of models that I can't use. I can't take them to a tournament. I can't play with them competitively. And don't, games, don't be saying to me like, oh, you can use them in narrative battles. Games Workshop, you're pushing the competitive scene. You're trying to make it a T-sport. The competitive scene leads everything. When you destroy something in the competitive scene, it impacts and ripples out to the casual scene as well. So no, I can't use these 120 Terminates, which I bought to make fun videos with and to indirectly promote your product and your game. Can't use them anymore. Because you said I can only take 120. It's such an absolute piss take. Now, I know a lot of people watch this video are gonna be thinking, Mordian, you salty boy, why are you getting so bent out of shape out of this? GW always does this. They're always changing the game and shifting the meta and bringing new kits in and getting old kits out. Or what, what's going on? Well, you know what? When you're inside the GW bubble, you think that's normal. You think that's what every company does. You think that Games Workshop isn't that bad. Let me tell you something, boys. This isn't okay. This isn't normal. Other companies don't do this shit constantly. Let me give you an example. This is my Imperial Japanese Army for bolt action. I bought all the models new in box and I even bought them directly from Warlord Games because Warlord Games is a company that deserves my money and they do stuff that makes me want to spend money with them as a consumer. I bought this army over three years ago, almost four years ago. How many of the models do you think are invalidated? How many of the models do you think I can't use anymore? None. Every single model that I bought four years ago is still totally valid and totally usable. And I even bought one-off special edition models, like this guy here. He's like a Japanese officer that was famous for like riding around on a horse and he had really cool like riding boots. I bought that guy, because I knew he wasn't gonna be a waste of time. I also bought this crazy guy with his like air observer goggles, absolutely mad. And I went out and bought this like political officer and the suicide anti-tank guys. Now, let me be clear, all of these models that you see here, I don't need to buy these special metal versions. The plastic kit that Warlord Games gives you can make all sorts of things from basic riflemen through to all your different support teams and everything. But you know what? I knew that because Warlord Games didn't mess around with things constantly that I could buy the special edition models and I'd still be able to use them years later. And do you wanna know what's really crazy? I bought these models 48 months ago. Every single one of them still works. All of this has been wiped out by Games Workshop in the last six months. It's unacceptable. We shouldn't stand for it as consumers. And you know what, guys? I ain't going to stand for it. I'm done. I am sick and tired of not being able to have confidence in my purchases. I'm sick and tired of every time I go to buy a cool model, I think, you know what? There's no point. GW is going to invalidate it. And sick and tired of my purchases as a consumer not being valued. I'm sick of getting burned. And so I'm not buying from Games Workshop anymore. Oh, I'm still going to play Warhammer 40k. Let's be clear here. I love Warhammer 40k. I like the game. But I ain't giving GW a penny more. Outside of the paints and models that I already have in my pile of shame and in my hobby case, I'm now going to be going to other companies to get the models that I need. There's plenty of people that sell alternative space bugs. There's plenty of people that sell alternative space marines and Imperial Guard. Why would I support a company that doesn't support me? I'm not going to tell you guys what to do. If you want to keep buying from Games Workshop, you go for it. This isn't a call to arms. This isn't a boycott. This isn't anything like that. 
I'm telling you, as one person, I'm not buying from Games Workshop anymore. I'm not going to support them until they stop messing around. They pull their finger out and they start going consumer first. That's it. Of course, all of this is just like my opinion, man. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Let me know how badly you've been burned by GW over the last 12 months. How many of your models have been invalidated? And when you use the GW website, how much money has that cost you in today's terms? For me personally, I clocked in at a cool 700 pounds. Of course, as always, if you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget to smash that like button like GW is smashing your wallet's face in and also subscribe to never miss an episode. If you found today's video particularly fun or you just had a good laugh at my expense, then please consider becoming a channel member or Patreon supporter. It really does help. It is the lifeblood of the Morning Glory channel. And I just want to say a massive thank you to all of our current channel members and Patreons. You guys are awesome. You guys are doing your part. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. And of course, as always, I'll see you guys next time.